Well, I know that for most attorneys, the holidays are like hurricane season for bad mental health. And it's truly, it's it's not just dealing with in-laws or the crazy uncle or whatever that it might involve. And this is during the pandemic, it's probably going to look different. But it's that uh, many of us in a, a as attorneys, uh, we're oftentimes not not always. Many many have other family member that are our attorneys, but um, many are the only attorney in the family, and we have this uh, I think nature of being kind of oh well Chris is the attorney ask him the questions and uh, or so and so's having problems some some cousin has a drug problem or some. Uh, other cousin is going through a divorce and it's so, and, and our clients are you know gosh family lawyers I think make most of their money in December because there's so much that happens that's negative with uh, fam- you know the stress and all of that kind of thing so I think it's also a great thing to mention and to talk about a plan for the holidays mm-hmm. so if you if you have a mental health plan, for one, it's not getting stuck somewhere that you can't get out of for too long. And um, if that means driving your own car to the event, even if you're married, sometimes we get situated in, an, in a really unhealthy spot where, um, you know, you, you get stuck for a, an entire football game worth of time with somebody that you really don't want to be sitting beside talking to. And you could have come up with a need an, an errand to run. And I think we should give ourselves permission and forgiveness to pause and, and go out of that environment when we need to, to give ourselves some peace. Um, I know so many people just suffer through it and are feeling like they're in a room with someone they're uncomfortable with or whatever. And we don't have, we don't have to be that way. I've, I've seen masterful people in my family say, oh, I've got to go to the pharmacy I'll be back in a few minutes and then they come back two hours later Uh, those kind of things happen all the time but I just want everyone to to consider giving themselves putting themselves first a little bit for their well-being and giving themselves breaks and not being superman not having to be perfect and 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 knowing that it's really hard for everybody and so it's there's no one thing that can necessarily fix it all but I, I do think having a plan so that you know kind of when when you're going somewhere and how you might be able to get out and uh, uh gosh i i can tell you from thanksgiving's past and christmas's past there's a bunch of people in my family that seem to disappear a lot during these things develop that skill if if you're if you're in the one place that you need to disappear go disappear um I used to, as growing up, we would always sit out, the kids would always sit outside. When I grew up, I was wanting to go outside again. You know, it was like, gosh, I wish I could still sit at the kids' table. Um, But (laughs) these are things that, you know, lawyers face. And I also do think that we also face financial stresses or or are we going to be able to afford to buy these things for Christmas? Just know that you're not alone. And, and make a plan to get through the holiday. Make a plan to talk, to talk to some other people, maybe that aren't in your family, about what you're going through in the holidays.